I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two test questions on squares and square roots. The first question for you is the square root of a whole number is about means approximately 9.7. What is the number? And the second question here is square root of 0 0.1 is approximately equal to which one? We, are, we have four options. You can always pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, in the first case, where we are given the square root of a whole number, what we can do? Well, let's do 9.7 times 9.7 to get the result, right? So, 7 times 7 is 49, 9, 4. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 4 is 67. And now we'll multiply with 9, which is one place higher. So we'll put 0 here. 9 times 7 is 63. So we get 6 here. 9, 9 is 81. And 6 gives us 87. So now adding them, we get our number. Decimal will be placed after two positions. So we have a number here, which is, we just add them up. 14, 4, and 1. 94. So our answer is 94. So you can check that 94 square root is approximately equal to 9.7. Okay? So that is how you could answer this question. Now let's look into the second question, which is square root of 0 0.1 is approximately equal to which one of these? Now, this is a very interesting question. Sometimes students will put 0.1. Well, that is not the answer, right? Square root of 0.1 is, that is to say, what is square root of 0 0.1 equal to, right? That is the question for us. So, the right answer here is 0 0.32. Now, 3, 2, 3, 2, so 3 square is 9, correct? So, that is 0 0.09. Since we have a decimal here, right? You should remember that if I do 0.1 square, what do I get? 0 0.1 square is actually equal to 0 0.01. That's a very small number. Nowhere close to 0.1. Do you understand? So be careful when you have this kind of a question. Now square root of a decimal number, you can see, is greater than the number itself. Perfect. So, what we notice here is that square root of decimal number is more than the number. When we say decimal number, that means we are saying uh, less than 1. Is that okay? So, square root of a number which is less than 1 is actually bigger than the number itself. So, that way is also you could eliminate these two answers. So, these are not your answers, correct? And you can actually approximately square and get 0.3 square is 0 0.09, right? So, approximately, you know, 0 0.3 square is 0 0.09, right? Which is very close to 0 0.1. And since it is higher than 0.3, so you really get answer which is close to 0.1. So I hope that helps you to understand how we can approximate and get our answer. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. It's pleasure if you like and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching and all the best.